Again, here is Bassem Eid on uh, Pierce Morgan talking about how Israel has killed more Palestinians than Israelis have been killed. But yet, he fails to mention that Palestinians are responsible for their own predicament because they voted for Hamas. And also, he fails to show that the destruction f totally falls on the Palestinians and Hamas' responsibility for October 7th. What is the going rate today for human life? I mean, 2014 was a great year for Ben Shapiro. 88 Israelis were died, and there was 2,329 Palestinians killed on the other side. That is one Israeli for 27 uh, Palestinians. That is a very good exchange rate. What I'm saying is, what is the exchange rate well, for I, today? Well, I, so I, you guys will be happy. Bassem Eid's response saying that Israel is not justified in their war because more Palestinians have been killed than Israelis is really a bad fallacy. If you look at World War II, for example, the British fighting the Nazis, more Nazis were killed than British people. It doesn't make the British on the wrong side of history for fighting Nazism, but that's the argument that Bassem Yusuf is going. Here is Ben Shapiro's response, which Ben Shapiro gives an amazing response back to Bassem Eid. Ba sorry, Bassem Yusuf. So that was Bassem Yusuf's response to you saying, effectively, when you deal with terrorism, there should be no sense of proportion. Um, first of all, your response to what he said there. Listen, Bassem is a very smart guy, and uh, I don't think that sarcasm or bad analogies or moral equivalents are really substitutes for realism or moral clarity about situations like fighting terrorism. No one wants civilians to die, except for Hamas. Hamas actually does want civilians to die, but nobody rejoices when civilians die. No one is looking for an exchange rate of death for death. The point that I was making is that when you are talking about, for example, legal proportionality in terms of just war, what you're talking is about proportionality to achieve your target. There is no actual math that goes into a war where you say, if a certain number of people die on this side versus a certain number of people die on that side, therefore the war is unjust. That's not exactly how war works. War is geared toward achieving a certain goal. Achieving that goal, if it is a moral goal, is moral. And then the question is, what is the minimum amount of force that you need to use in order to achieve that goal? That's what we were talking about when we talk about proportionality. When you're fighting a war like Israel is currently fighting in the Gaza Strip, in which Hamas has embedded itself in virtually every area of life, in civilian neighborhoods, in schools, in hospitals, in, in, but beneath cemeteries. When, when you see Hamas do this sort of stuff, the question is, what level of force must Israel use in order to extirpate that terrorist presence and that terrorist threat? And frankly, Israel would love to do that with a minimum of both Palestinian death and Israeli death, considering that more than 200 Israeli soldiers have been killed in the Gaza Strip. I mean, I'm, I'm one degree removed from three of the soldiers who have been killed in the Gaza Strip. They're, for Israel, that's a, that's a heavy burden. Beyond that, Israel has no interest in mass killing of Palestinians. They were perfectly happy to leave the Gaza Strip completely alone, despite heavy rocket fire, for full on 20 years, from 2005 all the way up till 2023. It's 18 years. And Israel did not participate in, for example, the kind of action that you are seeing, which is a direct result of October 7th. The goal for Israel is to extirpate Hamas. All of this could be over literally tomorrow. And, and by the way, every day since October 7th, if the leaders of Hamas walked out, held their hands up, took deportation, not, we're not even talking about an Israeli jail. There's probably a deal, deal on the table right now for Hamas leaders to actually be sent just to some third party country. If they were to surrender the hostages, surrender power and leave, this war would be over. And Ben Shapiro definitely destroys Bassam Yosef in this comeback, as he tells that if Hamas would just give up all their arms and would stop fighting, this war would be over long ago.